the, in the center, we are looking at uh, applications, particularly for rescue vehicles, robots which are able to uh, encounter the very unstructured environments of a disaster scene and negotiate those obstacles, which could be some fallen uh, structures, uh, soil, if you think of a mine disaster, uh, it might be, it might even be water in some cases. In order for robots to be useful, they have to be able to do physical work, um, but that takes power. If a robot is stationary, it's very easy to get the power to it. You just plug it into the wall. But if you want the robot to roam around, um, it's a huge problem. So we believe because of the compactness of full power, it will enable um, robots to, 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 to do the useful work. We want it to be a strong device. We want it to be capable of, of doing sort of superhuman things, or at least human things, uh, in, in this small environment that it might have to operate in to get through to, uh, to a survivor. There are a few companies out there that are actually doing it. And they have a walking robot that's entirely pneumatic, and it can pick up luggage and carry it around. They have another one on wheels that you could imagine following somebody around, holding things, running the baggage carousel, moving baggage around an airport, and can do these things today. Thank you.